Drag is holy. Drag is unholy because, again, it violates what God has permitted out of his creation, male and female. All things theology, all things theology, we chop it up properly without an apology. Gotta get that theology to God, hollow because this is how we do it at all things theology. One more video and then we'll wrap it up for today. I want to get into, I mean, it is Pride Month, right? Everybody's being prideful this month. Everybody's coming out with their LGBT support, right? You got Target and uh, other, other uh, you know, industries uh, showing their support. Well, you know, there's been a lot of churches been vocaliz vocalized in this as well. So I want to play a clip of a pastor showing his support for trans and drag and things like that. So let's check this out. We'll play this here. Drag is holy. There has been an assault on the rights of drag performers in this country, and we must call out the hypocrisy and the injustice. Jesus called himself a mother hen longing to gather up her chicks. Gender is a construct, you see. And if Jesus can be a mother hen, then you can dress in drag. I've even heard it said that Jesus was, and humanity is, God in drag. So let me say this again for those of you in the back. Drag is holy. So what are your thoughts? I would like to hear your thoughts. Matter of fact, type it in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. But I, I had some major problems with this and we're going to play it back and show why uh, section by section I disagree with this. My first thought was how insulting to the holiness of God, how insulting to the transcendent God who has created all things. Um, many people have bought into this lunacy. Yes, I do believe it is lunacy, but it just shows how much rebellion that people will even drag the creator into when they love their sin. Notice that. Don't you notice that? Whenever someone loves their rebellion, they'll try to drag Jesus as doing that rebellion as well. I'm going to show you that. Well, you already saw that uh, just now. But it's just it is terrible when that is the case. Right. It's, it's as it said, people look down the well of re religion. And what do they see? A reflection of themselves. So the fornicator looks at religion and says, ah, God must be OK with fornicating. The drunkard looks down in this well and he says, ah, God must love drunkenness. The transgender looks at down this well and says, ha, huh, God must be trans. Right. So let's look at this and play this again. Drag is holy. First off, right off the rip, right there. Drag is holy. Well, when we talk about the holiness of God, what does the holiness of God mean? God is other than, right? He's separate from his creation, right? He's above, right? N not touched and stained with sin. Well, drag is a violation of what God has said to do, right? A man should not, uh, even, eat, what is drag, right? Uh, you can have it either a man. Generally, you see men putting on female clothing. Well, God has rejected that. He has said not to do that. So to drag, <laughs> pun intended, God into this uh, sinful perversion is, is, is insulting, I believe, to God's uh, holy character in nature. There has been an assault on the rights of drag performers in this country, and we must call out the hypocrisy and the injustice. Well, I see it as otherwise. I see much people, especially corporations, you know, uh, you're not even allowed to say much about them, their perversion, or you're deemed as hateful, bigoted, uh, unloving, unkind, right? The LGBT community gets uber rights. I mean, you say something about them, people lose their jobs. I mean, pastors, I mean, look at the, remember the cake situation a uh, few years ago? You have to affirm them or you are the epitome of hate. So this is actually not the case. Jesus called himself a mother hen longing to gather up her chicks. Gender is a construct, you see. And if Jesus can be a mother hen, then you can dress in drag. 
let's deal with a few things. Uh, gender is a construct. Well, no, gender is a biological fact. It's as Jesus said, you know, you want to talk about Je what Jesus said, right? Jesus said God created them male or female. Um, this is a uh, I, uh, identified as well with our, our bi biological state. Right now, of course, there are um, non ideal situations, but the non ideal is an excuse for what God has created. Right. Secondly, he deals with God being or Jesus saying um, in Matthew, I believe it is Matthew 23. It is in 37 verse 39. Uh, we find Jesus saying, how often have I desired to gather you together? So, sorry, let me start over. How often have I gathered? How often? How often have I desired to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings and you were not willing? What Jesus is saying is not that he's a mother. He is giving an analogy of the, his desire to gather the children of Israel together, but the leaders were not willing for him to do this. Jesus is given an analogy of a. Uh, of a of the situation in which Israel, the Israel leaders, and his desire for him to uh, save the Israel people, right? The people they're not wanting him to save. He's not saying he's an actual mother, a mother, right? I mean, again, but again, even he's comparing himself to a mother hen. No one would come to the conclusion that Jesus actually has feathers because he has wings. That would be absurd. Just like his conclusion that Jesus is drag. So absurd, so um, perverted. I've even heard it said that Jesus was and humanity is God in drag. Again, trying to compare the holy incarnation with their unholy perversion is quite asinine. Uh, God became man to save sinful uh, humanity. Drags try to act like women to fulfill their lust. This comparison cannot be even compared. So let me say this again for those of you in the back. Drag is holy. Drag is unholy because again, it violates what God has permitted out of his creation, male and female. And so I wanted to take a look at that. Um, yes, I know some of you guys are like, wow, wow, that's insane. Yeah, have you not read, right? Have you heard read have you not read from the beginning he has done this, right? Uh just complete absurdities. Man, our culture, man, it is it is complete, you know. I have for over the last few days kind of had quite a bit of conversations with um some of the LGBT proponents. Uh man, if you don't agree with them, man, they'll 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 find any reason to attack you, man. You know, they some even found that I was adopting they went and attacked the fact that I was adopting, attacked my wife. And it's just like, man, you know, uh, <laughs> but, but, but to me, it's like, this is what the Bible says. You know, just my, I, I can imagine Sodom and Gomorrah now by looking at our culture. These men filled with their lust, filled with their rage, right? Because, you know, they're filled with their lust, filled with their rage, can do some of the most vile, sinful, harmful things, right? Yo, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you heard here today, why don't you go and leave me a like? Subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here. Hit that notification bell. I promise to give you weekly content, lives, interacting, exposing false teachers, showing you my theological beliefs and what I believe the Bible teaches. So if you're here for that, go on and join us. Hey,